physical properties of esters. Okay, so esters can't form hydrogen bonds because those oxygens are bonded to carbon atoms. They're not bonded to hydrogen atoms. So one ester molecule cannot hydrogen bond with another ester molecule. And so therefore their intermolecular forces are weaker than with the carboxylic acids and their boiling points and melting points will be lower. They're more in the range of the ethers. And if we look at this table um, comparing diethyl ether with ethyl formate, one's an ether, one's an ester, they have the same molecular mass. We see that the, um, their boiling points are in the same ballpark. If we compare the ester to propionic acid, again, same molar mass, but this is a carboxylic acid, the boiling point goes way up. Because the carboxylic acid can form a dimer, it can form two hydrogen bonds with another carboxylic acid molecule. So the, the intermolecular forces are very strong. And then we've got um, alcohol. Alcohols can hydrogen bond with each other. So here's 118. Then we've got the aldehydes. Can aldehydes hydrogen bond with each other? No. Because you've got that carbon double bond oxygen. The oxygen is only bound to carbon. They've, they've got some polarity to them, which increases their um, boiling points and melting points, but they can't do hydrogen bonding. The, the esters, though, are are fairly water soluble, at least the small ones, because even though they can't undergo hydrogen bonding with each other, they can hydrogen bond with water molecules. And another thing we should know, most esters have pleasant odors. And we, we, you know, we talked about the esters um, being flavors of fruits, so hopefully we would understand that those are pleasant.